Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Terry and I live in Texas. Um, I decided to uh, start making videos uh, to share what I do um, in the crafting world and to uh, connect and make friends with others that um, like to do the same things that I like to do. Um, I enjoy the other pot washing podcasts so much that um, I wanted to get in there and connect with others. I found a crochet tag of 10 questions and I thought that would be a great introduction video. That way you can kind of find out a little bit about me. Uh, this uh, these set of questions was put forth by uh, Cat Crazy Creations, Sonia. I know this was like two years ago, but I thought, well, there's probably others that would like to do these questions now, new people that, that maybe weren't around or weren't making videos during that time. So here it goes. Number one says, how long have you been knitting or crocheting? I've been crocheting since I was a Um... Sorry, that was my phone. <laughs> um, so, probably 35 years, or off and on, you know. Uh, I've been knitting only about three years. Uh, number two says, where do you knit or crochet? Well, I have this lovely craft room that my husband put together for me, and I will, uh, I want to make a, a tour, uh, film a tour of it um, in future for a future video and show you how what we put together. Um, I also have been known to knit in on my dining room table um, between checking on things cooking in the in the kitchen uh, because it's right off the kitchen. Um, do a few stitches, go back and work on some more of the meal. <laughs> uh, I also love to take my uh, projects, portable projects on uh, vacation. Can't crochet in the car very much because I get car sick. But uh, once we get there, though, I really enjoy working on um, having, keeping my hands busy and working on uh, projects. I mean, what's the, that to, be, to me is the best vacation ever. You can take what you love to do and get away in a wonderful location. I mean, it's just wonderful to be able to combine both of those. <laughs> okay, um, number three. It says, when do you knit and crochet? I knit and crochet as much as I can, whenever I can um, find time to do it, uh, mostly uh, in the evenings, usually, um, and in the early mornings since I'm an early riser. Uh, what are your favorite needles or hooks to use? Well, my crochet hooks that I've found, I've used many over the years, and the ones that I've found that I really enjoy using are the tulip crochet hooks. Tulip. And my favorite sizes are, usually I find myself using, enjoying using the size H through J range. Um, I don't have a full set of these. I've just kind of been buying them off and on to complete my set. Um, but um, I, right now I have F through J in, in these, and I really, really enjoy them. Okay, and for my knitting needles, I bought an interchangeable when I was a very beginner, and I still love using these. They're called Knitter's Pride Spectra Trends Acrylic Needles, and it was a set that I bought off of Amazon. And um, they're such pretty cheerful colors. I really like that. Uh, they're clear, um, bright colors, if you can see them. And they range from size... Uh, four through eleven and you see that two of them are missing there because they're in projects right now uh, I usually use anywhere from a seven usually the six seven and eight size somewhere around there on all my projects but I really like those okay and let's see the next one says favorite brands of yarn well I usually use acrylics because of the things that I make. I, I do a lot of stuff for charity that I donate and it has it needs to be things that they can wash and easily take care of. And so and even for baby things, you know, you want to be especially baby blankets, you want to be able to um, just throw things in, you know, when they get soiled and and um, right in the washer and out and it still look pretty so um, that's usually what I use and my favorite brands are uh, Red Heart, 
uh, with love, red heart soft. I like Bernat baby. I like um, Karen simply soft. Um, oh, the Vanna's Choice yarns by Lion Brand. I enjoy those uh, for durability projects or maybe like stuffed animals and things. Um, Super Saver, Red Heart Super Saver is great because of the wide range of colors that are available and the durability of it. Okay, uh, number six says, favorite things to knit and crochet. Well, I do a lot of charity knitting, and well, crocheting mainly. Knitting a little, but mainly crocheting. Um, I've done uh, baby blankets. I love to do baby blankets for uh, baby shower gifts. Um, I love to do them for uh, charity donating. Also, uh, lap blankets for charity. <clears throat> Sorry, lap blankets, <laughs> um, throws um, to give away, uh, well, for different charity programs. Um, hats, I do hats. Um, I love to do scrap projects because I just love to find ways to be able to use up my scraps, you know, because you can accumulate a lot of yarn and then you have all these little balls of things left over and you need to find things to do with them, right? So I'll show you one really cute. I made this to put my crochet hooks in and it was just a plastic container. I think it had protein powder in it. Um, but I found a, pro a project pattern on YouTube by, I believe it's Bag a Day Crochet, I believe, and it was for an owl tote bag. And I thought, oh, that would be so cute to cover this container to put my crochet hooks in. And so I just started at the bottom and I made the bottom, it's just a circle on the bottom. And so I made it to fit the diameter of the container. I've made like three of these. And then from there, I followed the directions um, that was on there um, to make the sides. And that, of course, is crocodile stitch. And I just used scraps, the scrap yarn that I had. But I thought these turned out really, really cute. And I also, of course, used my scraps to make squares to put together for um, blankets and lap throws and things also. I just love to try to put colors together to, to see how they turn out. Okay, number seven, how do you get ideas or inspiration for your projects? Well, Ravelry. Um, I also like to find things uh, or see what other podcasters are doing and get my inspiration from that. Um, of course, I have many, many books and magazines. Um, some of my favorites is to use for my scraps is um, crochet squares, all these different uh, crochet patterns, and borders, edgings. I really like this book right here uh, to border and, and put to get, bring together the squares, time together to make blankets. Um, just anything, you know. Um, crochet magazines, I've got, um, I used to subscribe to different ones. I don't currently, but. Um, I still have my magazines though, so I'll go through, flip through those and find inspiration to do different things. Um, and of course, if it's a gift, like for a baby gift, I'll find out like what colors the person are using for their nursery and or the theme for their nursery and then try to find a pattern to tie in with that. Okay, and then number eight, how did you learn to knit and crochet? Well, the way I did that was when I was a teenager, uh, I was dating a, a guy. In fact, we are now married, and this was my husband. At, at the time, he was my boyfriend, though. And his sister had gone to visit her great-grandmother, and uh, while she was there, she taught her to crochet. And so when, when her sis, his sister came back home, she was excited about learning how to crochet, and so she taught me how. Well, the problem was is that she's right-handed and I'm a lefty. So, when I first learned, I learned crocheting right-handed and it was very awkward for me because everything seemed like that was just backwards. It was so awkward, but I loved doing it. And so I had my very first um, grain square, uh, which is what I learned to do. I made two of them, stitched them together and made a pot holder. And uh, I believe that my mother still has that pot holder. But anyway, 
Um, I kept working at it even though my tension was terrible and it was so awkward. But uh, luckily, a friend of my boyfriend, now husband, of his grandmother's, she crocheted and she was left-handed and so one day we were visiting his grandmother and the, this friend was there and she taught me the way <laughs> to do it left-handed and it made all the difference in the world and I haven't stopped since then you know I just took off from there and I just love it so I do crochet left-handed so um, but anyway that's how I learned and then from knitting I just taught myself um, from YouTube videos, um, you can find one that are for left-handed left-handed people, and so um, I pretty much learned from that, taught myself from that. Okay, uh, number nine is how do you store or keep your patterns? Well, I have magazine boxes that I keep um, those patterns in. I also um, have a work table that have has cubbies on the sides. I can show you in a tour. Um, but um, that I keep them like shelves, you know, where I keep my books. And of course, my computer has tons of uh, patterns that I have saved to that to there, <coughs> and in my Ravelry uh, account, yeah, I've bookmarked lots of pay, uh, favorited or whatever, lots of patterns. Um, so that's the way I store them. And number nine, the last one, is do you have any other hobbies? Well, I have started sewing, you know, uh, kind of jumping on the project bag uh, bandwagon that everybody's doing. Um, and I really have been enjoying doing that, making tote bags and things. And I would eventually like to get into maybe quilting, not big quilts, I don't think, I don't know, but <laughs> uh, like placemats and things like that, but with quilting techniques and uh, kind of go from there. But my first love, of course, is yarn and um, crocheting and knitting. I've tried other things uh, during the, the scrapbook uh, popularity. I tried when it was really getting started scrapbooking. I tried to do that, but I just never, it just never clicked with me, I mean, or it never caught on, not caught on, I un understood how to do it, but I just didn't have a love for it like I do uh, yarn related things and fabric, you know, <laughs> fabric items. So, that's all of the questions, and um, maybe um, from these questions and my answers, you've been able to get uh, kind of an insight more about who I am, or, or at least what I like to do, my background for it. Um, so, um, in future videos, I would like to uh, show, you know, works in progress and finished objects and maybe help motivate each other to get things finished that maybe that's kind of been languishing, sleeping projects, you know, um, and uh, hit tr tips and tricks to, to use up your scraps and, and um, just really inter interact with the community and make a lot of friends. So... Um, I guess that's all for now. Uh, I hope everybody has a great day. It's beautiful weather here in Texas. Um, it's uh, Today is May the 24th. And um, so it's just the starting of the summer. Uh, our summer vacation because I'm a homeschool mom. And we always finish school by the like the first week in May. We're done. We're done. We need a break. So... So we're done for the summer, so I should be able to make more videos, uh, especially in the beginning here because of um, being on summer vacation and not having as much stuff to do. So um, I guess that's it. So have a great day. Happy crafting, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.